Hey kids. Inexpressibly tired, um, but it was a really good day. Um, the procedures both went really well. And uh, let's see, the bronchoscopy, they said that the lung looks good and they kind of washed it out a little bit not because of any blood this time or anything, but just because secretions build up in there and I have been learning to cough harder and everything and doing it better, but I still haven't been able to, they want me to be able to cough and bring up my secretions that way and, uh, and then uh, get them out and uh, you know, I've just, I've lost so much musculature in my chest that, and half of my diaphragm is, um, for all intents and purposes, non-functional. So it's hard to put enough energy into the cough to actually do what they're asking me to do. But it really has to happen, so I'll keep working at it, but not much more tonight, I don't think because I am bushed. These, the, you know, the days when you have uh, some sort of procedure uh, really, really tire me out. Um, but I just wanted you all to know that things are fine. I might have the first case of hiccups I've had for in quite some time. That's weird, maybe that's what that is. Um, anyway. Uh, two procedures. One was a bronchoscopy I, that I didn't even know it was going to be a procedure for today until they came to get me for it. Uh, I had no idea. And then they took me right from there to the placing of the inferior vena cava mesh to grab clots, if there are any, uh, so that I can have a break from having to worry about Coumadin versus heparin versus clotting versus bleeding and give us all a little time off from that. Um, really, that's about it for today. Uh, just after I got back from, I went down to surgery at about 8.30 and I got back up to my room about 12.30 and but it was just waiting times in between the two procedures. They were really not very big procedures at all. And it didn't get intubated again at all. Um, because Dr. Saya, my, my transplant pulmonologist, they were gonna intubate me and he said, no, that's way overboard for what she's going through. It was really uh, not that big a deal, either one of them. Um, so there was that and then couple of uh, medication type things for my lungs. One is uh, just a, I don't know if any of you guys have ever had a nebulizer treatment, but it's just where you hold this thing in your mouth and breathe in and out as deeply as you can while medicine goes in there. And one of them was an antifungal and the other one was just saline to try and get they're really trying to get that all wet and moist and so that it will come up and out. And also when you have a boggy lung like that, um, uh, fungal elements tend to love that sort of environment. So uh, it's all about prevention. Almost everything they're doing is about preventing one consequence or another. And so far it's all working still have that darn chest tube. It, it, it seems crazy sometimes because if the chest tube wasn't there, all of the other problems would go away. I'd be able to walk on my own instead of waiting for someone to take me. And I would be out there six times a day instead of the two that were, sometimes three that we're achieving now. And, uh, 
It's it's a mess because of the tubings, all the tubings. Yeah, it's imagine trying to go out and walk with a spaghetti of tubes hanging off of you, and every you know it's take my word for it. It's it's crazy, and it requires not just me and another person sometimes, but sometimes me and two other people. And this floor is a crazy busy floor. So stuff falls through the cracks like that. And uh, it's not, the hospital is a really good hospital and the nurses are really good nurses. It's just something that every hospital faces these days because you have to do so much with so little staff. So um, other than that, I really should just let you go and save my strength because uh, that's all that happened today. It was pleasantly uneventful in terms of complications, except for the fact that I'm bleary-eyed and groggy. And every time I sit down and try and uh, read email or do something or text or whatever, next thing I know I'm asleep with the phone in my hand. So I'm gonna sign off and I'm gonna say goodnight to you fine people. And that I will talk to you more than this tomorrow, hopefully about some more interesting things. And uh, we'll just keep on working our way back to relative health. How's that sound? Good to me. Good to you? Okay, night night.